Hi guys, it's Shani from Yanomai's and today is a special day. I have a Porsche Carrera GT, however, it's not a normal one. It's one of six converted by Zagato in Italy. We're gonna tell you a little bit more about the car, but for now, let's get it inside. No, no, no! So what's the difference between a standard CGT and the Zagato conversions? The most obvious difference to the standard car is the rear deck lid panels that will replace giving it more of a coupe profile versus the distinctive step that is in the standard car. Both bumpers include an exhaust outlet and rear diffuser, rear three quarter glass and various grills and openings have been modified. Overall, the body is now slightly lighter than standard. And interestingly, the front end has a bit more ground clearance, which has always been a CGT issue. If the customer decides to do a full color change, Zagato repaint the whole car, taking it back to the bare carbon. In this case, this car was done in a one-off green that Zagato mixed for the customer. This car also had a full interior retrim by Zagato. Some of the other cars kept the original interior, but here it was trimmed in a green leather with embossed Zagato logo in the seats. The seat frames were painted to match as well. I am in the PPF Bay with a couple of friends of the company. So we've got Matt and Danny over from Expel. Because this is a one of six Zagato edition of the CGT, they are creating some templates for me. You could attempt to freehand the actual PPF onto this vehicle, but there's a massive amount of risk included by doing that. Well, I'm gonna try and nick a couple of trade secrets out of them. They're being a bit, bit quiet at the minute, but yeah, watch these guys, check it out. We're going to redesign the front and rear bumpers, engine cover and the side seals. We have done quite a few of these standard Carrera GTs in the past. So majority of the parts we have are on our DAP software. It's got over 80,000 patterns. We're able to make them millimetre perfect and make it as easy to install as they possibly can, plus maximum coverage. <laughs> We are about to install the bonnet on Porsche GT Segato. Uh, let's do it! This one, being a Zagata, has a badge on the side. So we're just laying our original template that we've already got on the system uh, on there. Now we're just gonna make our tracing uh, to add this, this badge cutout. You have the option to either keep the badge on or take it off. Our software allows us to, to uh, delete it if we need to. We'll look back in a minute and you'll see the cutout. I've done my assessment in Expo. I think it was last week and luckily I passed. So they allow us to use this film and to use the patterns. Uh, anyways, we're now officially Expel qualified installers. Sagato is really renowned car makers. Pattern wise is amazing because we're using Expel, no issues at all. The material is really conformable compared to the other material that I used back in the days. So CGT time, we put it up in the air. The guys need some access around the wheels. So Jason and the Expel boys are gonna start working on it. It's a special day, one of six, and there it is. I'm sure from Expel. We've actually removed the badges out the back of the pattern. Sometimes badges can be a little bit inconsistent on the pattern. You do get a better install for the badges actually to be removed. It also stops any dirt or anything getting trapped around where it would say Carrera GT or Zagata or anything else. And generally, if the customer requests that we take the badges off, you get a better fitment for it. So 
today we've fitted front and rear bumpers, the engine deck. We were going to take the Zagato badges off the rockers, but they're actually pinned in, the same with the Carrera GT on that rear bumper. I left the Z in it because that's pinned in, whereas the Carrera GT is actually a, a stick-on badge. A few more bits and pieces to do to it, but it'll settle overnight. Any bubbles, bits and pieces will bleed themselves out over the next couple of days. And uh, yeah, now it's time to head back. Later. So there it is. The Carrera GT Zagato is complete. There's only six of these cars and we've had one here. We've done four PPF, which is paint protection film, all over the car. It wasn't the easiest jobs, but it is now done. I'm a bit sad to actually put it out in the rain, but it is protected. So I'm gonna drive it out and, um, and it's gonna go on the truck and go to the owner. But there she is in all her glory.